this is based on a true story. How did you first get interested in this? Well, I've been um, been a fan of the Warrens for a long time. You know, um, throughout the years, you know, it's hard to. Uh, do research on the supernatural and the paranormal and not come across their names. So, um, so yes, yeah, so you know, I've been, uh, they've been on my radar for a very long time and so when finally this project came around, I was like, oh my god, this is, this is based on the people that I've read so much about and uh, I started looking into it more. So for people who have never heard of this movie, give us the, the elevator pitch. Wow. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> the director throws it to the actor. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> What's the pitch, Patrick? Uh, the pitch. Well, uh, you have the you have Ed Lorraine Warren, who certainly are the uh, the the premier and original ghost hunters of the modern age, um, uh, which have been doing it since the '60s. You meet them at this point in their life, um, where each case that they do takes a little bit of a uh, takes its toll on them, and they're questioning even. People are screaming. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and then they meet the, the Perrin family. Uh, these are all based on a real story. So you have two different stories here. You have the Perrin family, which is played by Ron Livingston and Lily Taylor, and they're five girls that move into a, uh, a new house, a house that's been haunted. Uh, the property's been haunted by this witch dating back to, like, Salem witch trial era. Um, and so you see this family in peril and the possessions and the entities that take over specifically Lily, and then you see the the Warrens uh, and how their story uh, progresses and then how these two stories meet and how the Warrens uh, have to help them and do the best that they can to uh, to help her out. How's that? That's a good That's a good pitch. Wow. That's a good, little story. long. A little long for a log line. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll cut it down. <laughs> awesome. So, um, you know... Obviously, um, horror movie. How much? How much stuff was 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 done practically to keep everything super scary and in the moment? Well, yeah. I mean, um, doing more practical stuff is is a good thing. You know, it helps with the way you know it helps with the way the actors interact with what's going on, and it also helps with how I shoot it as well. You know, because like there's actually something there to film as opposed to like a dangling <laughs> tennis dangling ball. What? A tennis oh, ball. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's a different kind of ball that, that's dangling. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no. I I think. Um, um, you know, for the, these kind of kinds of film, I try to kind of like stay away from like as much computer graphics as I, as I can. Um, I, I use that more just to clean things up um, because I think um, I, you know I, I think the more we can actually interact with what's going on, the better it is. And I think it's yeah. scarier. And I go back to all the movies that I grew up loving; and they were all done basically the old-fashioned way. Right. So um, basically, uh, how do you stay in that terror moment? for a day's worth of shooting. What, what do you do to motivate yourself? I chained Patrick to a, a really dark, dingy basement, feed him rats yes. at night, and so yes. he comes in the next morning really messed up. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's not true. <laughs> uh, no, you know, if, well, thankfully on this film versus the other one that we did together, Insidious, I was not on the receiving end of being haunted. So here I was just trying to investigate it. Um, but I think, you know, you just have to remember, and certainly for playing Ed, someone that was not clairvoyant or didn't have any sort of mystical power or anything. He was a very practical, blue-collar man, uh, devout Catholic, who was uh, one of the foremost scholars on demonology. And so you, he's a, he, was, he approached this very clinically and very real and organic. So, you know, when you're playing somebody real and with those sort of sets of circumstances, then you know, there's a lot of stuff you can dig into. So you, 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 thankfully, his style of working, James's style of working and effects and all those things you talked about work hand in hand with how the actors, you know, prepare in a very real emotional setting. Certainly because when you, if you're going into the land of entities and witches and possessions, it gets very supernatural very quick. You got to start out in a place that is very, it's a real situation, dealing with real human emotions here.